Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown land. Soon, a village of slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Ryoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop. The long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Thank you so much for joining me. We are starting over in the moonlight Moonlighter so that we can get the uh, full story here and see how it leads up to the newest DLC The in-between dimension So Let's uh, get through this there we go, my little, my trusty broom of damage. Let me get that health potion there. Oh, get the, get the little blobbies. Uh, I have played through this game before, uh, but I love the game enough that let's go in here and have a little bit of fun. There we go. We got a little, oh, a nice, uh, oh, no, ah, uh, built up strike there. Let's grab all the fun stuff here. Open the treasure. Oh, get it, get it, get it! Treasure chests. Uh, let's move those in there. That's going to be important. Uh, if you do not know about this game, basically you play as Will, which is this little guy uh, here. And he is a inspiring adventurer. And he wants to... Uh, he wants to... Uh, have an adventure for his life and he wants to uh, have his shop open so he has a shop that he mans during the day and uh dungeon crawling at night so let's see how well this goes i believe if i remember correctly this is basically a setup to lose you really can't at this young point we really cannot survive that battle And we get thrown out of the gate. Uh-oh. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you. And as a mere child, barely able to walk, you are courier of the dungeon. There is no doubt, you carry the same old, same obsession as old people. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Well, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for creator's sake, stop using that broom of yours 
You daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Oh yeah, we get a sword and a shield. Woohoo! Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your head. Your heart had some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Okay, there we go. Let's uh see. Can I? I can talk. All right. Successfully selling you a merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Hey, okay. so let's go ahead and open shop just like the the old man is telling me to. And to see what, do I have anything to play? Oh, it's not gonna be left. Ooh, she's happy about that. Let's sell it. Yeah, buy it, buy it, buy it. Yeah. Did you see that? Best expression you could hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap that you'll lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expression. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Can I put, now it doesn't look like I can put stuff on while they are shopping. Hey, what is he, he's gonna, he's gonna be, you, I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned, finally. Be careful of selling a popular item, item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts hey there we go let's open this up and see what we got that's our inventory here we go so that is the information basically that we have oh would it seem the sun has fallen for the day i best head off you will pick up more on your adventures Restoring this shop to its full glory? That's responsibility falls on you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Here we go. Let's, uh, I'm actually, oh, okay. It's going to throw my, uh, go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Okay. So we got a little sword and shield here. So we got a block and a, a swipe. I don't think, oh, I got my broom on the other side. I don't think I'll be using that broom very much, but okay. We also got our roll and we got four healing potions. So let's go and see what we can do in the dungeon for tonight. Okay. The golem dungeon. It's gonna be tricky. Let's see. Oh, there is absolutely nothing that way. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Hey, well, we got a couple little, uh... This one was kind of nice, I remember correctly. The big sword swings hard, and 
you know, if you have a big sword that swings hard and fast, uh, one of the things I do like are hard and slow, and you get, you know, it shows an effect of the swing. So I can swing two, th two or three, well, three times, and then there's a slight pause. Like I used, there's not stamina per se in the game, but it does definitely show that, you know, it takes some, you know, uh, strength to move this stuff. And I think that's really cool of the game. And when you have a large sword, you could swing it once, but you can't swing it quickly. So that is something that is like, um, you have to think about and be weary when you do this. Um, I don't think I, I could probably run. There we go. We want to get rid of this little shooty thing first. Probably would be a better idea. There we go. Let's... Okay, there we go. Sweet. Let's go this way. Left. Oh, little blobbies. Oh, gosh. I swung too soon. There we go. Oh, yep, see, there you go. That, that pause. I swung that third one a little too soon. And that meant that... Uh, it, you know, I had to take that break, which ended up being a uh, issue. Got some goodies over here. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant, all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out. Though, I to say I'd fared better than he. He caught me spying on his near, he caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this, map, diagram, whatever it is, I was right? They called me crazy, said old crazy, crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles, but I was right. Each guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeon. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whomever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please. Open the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they see. Hey, well, we got... Oh, are we out of... What do we got here? Big boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them... I supposed to let them all out. Now have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuff. Ah! Big boss gonna be so upset with little me. Okay, well, that's interesting. We got... A diagram. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we yeah, we, we basically can use our little pendant to get out. It, oh, that's not it. I wanted to open my inventory. It's not gonna let me. I gotta use my pendant to get out. Okay. Well I can handle that. That's just kind of showing you the process of uh playing the game there. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally used to use that pendant properly? It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You, you found the old Pete? dead see this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door leave it well just get the artifacts you need from the golem dungeon and look after now I noticed a post on the town board that may interest you some shops want to move in. A tip to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. 
Would be nice to see some new life in Renoka. Nice. Indeed. Well, let's go check out the, uh... The, uh... Yeah, the bulletin board. See what's gonna be... Uh, going on here. Let's look. Investments. So we can invest in our town. We can pull in a forge or a... Well, the Vulcan's Forge or the Wooden Hat. Right now, we could do that. We don't have the money for either. But let's see what we could do for our shop. So we could open up, make, I guess, our shop bitter, bigger. This shop expansion allows the merchants to decorate it to please their customers as well as additional space for their items. But we could buy, a, you know, some other stuff, a better register, that sort of stuff. So cool, cool. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and I think we'll head to bed and see what we got here. See what we can sell. Let's check this out really quickly. This was too expensive. Oh, can I wonder what my notebook says about that item? Hmm. Do I have that? I don't even I'm not sure I remember what that item uh, was. There is a lot of things in this dungeon. Okay, so we could drop down. Okay, so we can use this. Okay, to, to skip pages. Okay, cool. That's good to know. There is 29 pages here. So it doesn't look like Rich Jelly is pretty low too. Um, but this thing we know was priced too high. So let's price this down a little bit and then add I don't know um this looks important let's put that over there and uh, that and then maybe like that and see that's a hundred know how much this stuff is going to be caught I completely forget how much this stuff is I'm thinking that this stuff was pretty low. Let's do 10 and 10 here to start out with. Probably not the best, but let's start out with that and head to bed. There's something over here. Is that my, yeah, okay. That's my map. And then we got a little chaser chest that we could throw some stuff in. I know the Royal Jelly is used to make potions but I forget how to make those potions. Yeah, nothing, nothing exciting. And I forget what else is there. Oh, we wanted to go to bed. Hey, let's uh, open a shop. We don't want to go to sleep. We want to open our shop up and see how well we do. Probably not going to do very well, I'd have to say. Uh, I figure that probably most of the stuff is going to be uh, underpriced, I would say, except maybe this blue thing over here. What is she going to say? Oh, no, she's really happy about that. That's not good. Uh-oh. Let's sell that. But we had more of those, didn't we? No, we don't have any more whetstone, did we? Okay, let's put these up for 50 and see how it goes try to keep stuff in here so that we'll be able to sell it up and that sort of stuff we don't want to waste time and money selling stuff really cheaply 100 was good for that that was because you lose money there and that's not a good thing so let's go ahead and sell that what is he going to think about that oh no something was too high so again, we can jump over here and hopefully merchant. Is this what I want? Okay, so the fabric, it has to be above 250 is the way it's worked out here. Um, those little uh, lines there kind of is an indicator of value. So the water lamp would be just under 250 and then the fabric would be over 250. Um, so we got 100 on that. That's a good price. There was something else that was way too valued. So 
Um, I think so. Two was way down there. The whetstone was definitely undervalued at 10. So you got to kind of keep that in mind uh, when you're trying to do this and see how things are go. Uh, let's go ahead and put out the iron bar and that and maybe do uh let's go and do 50 on both of these and i'm not sure where that's gonna lead me but something was he was upset about something but now i can't remember what it was oh you don't like that um will it automatically put it in here that's gonna be the interesting thing i think um iron no, I think he has to... No, they don't have to buy it. I know that they don't have to buy it. Divine... I thought... That it would show me... And it might... Have to wait. Maybe I didn't give it enough time for him to walk away or something. Okay, he's buying something for way, way too little. And something's overpriced there too as well, so... We got to kind of work on that. Let's yeah, it's that whetstone. That whetstone is too much. Uh, let's go down to 25 and see if that helps. I don't think that this tells me where is that? It wasn't whetstone. It was this teeth stone. But it doesn't tell me that it's the reactions, which is weird. Hmm. Oh. So both of these also seem to be too high, it looks like. You want to make that like five, maybe? And then we are going to put in that. Oh, that's fine. Let's see what that works out as. Hopefully, I can still... Wow. Okay, so the whetstone is still too high, it appears. We got to be on this quickly. Um, because they will... We want someone to buy it. Now, the stone is way too expensive. He was happy about that. Some of them have a very narrow margin of what's good and what's bad. He's not happy about that, but he's still buying it. And he's still buying... Okay like a little bit yeah he wasn't too wonderfully happy about that but so five is too much still something that he could pay for but definitely not nope that's not what i want to do nope that's not what i wanted to do either my button oh i don't know um this was up there a little bit farther i do believe uh, and then let's grab one of these sticks and I'm going to put them in at like nothing. Um, maybe like two gold each and see if that helps out a little bit. See how our, 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 our day finishes up here. It looks like it might be hitting nighttime here. I'm not going to put out any more stuff. We're just going to let this go. The sticks were really cheap. Okay, well... Okay, let's uh, sell this stuff off. It gives me a little bit of money, but not a whole lot here, unfortunately. I'm not going to put... We're just going to wait until these last two things get sold. Hopefully, I find a... Ah! So, this is still too much. I cannot get this to be uh, sold, I guess. So... We really have got to watch that as best as we can about that. Okay, there we go. We finally get found a good price for that. There we go. Our shop is all done for the night. Let's close it up. And I do believe we are... We made 769 gold coins today. That's good. Really, really good. I want to jump in here and see... If we can find out, I was hoping that we could find out. So, yeah, so we paid five for it, which was a little much. So we moved that down a little bit. Whetstone, he was happy at five. 
uh, the root was really happy at two, but all this should be right. So the root should be like seven, maybe whetstone 15. They're all in a vertical order like that. Uh, 20, 25 or something. Uh, that was a good price for that. A hundred. So this is going to see then the, the, the foundry rests are going to be more than the crystallized energy. That's just how it's leveled up there. So there we go. We got our first day underway and uh, we'll be back next time. Thank you so much for joining me. I honestly really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a little bit and I will see you next time as we delve deeper in the dungeons in Moonlight. Bye everybody.